Now to a GMA exclusive with Dr. Priscilla Chan, the woman who is leading a multi-million dollar fight against rare diseases all around the world. And she's doing it with the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative that's co-founded by her husband, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. I spoke with Dr. Chan on Monday. Now this was before the FTC's latest announcement about Facebook and users' personal data. We sat down to discuss one of her true passions, and that is her new medical initiative. She is fast becoming one of the most prominent philanthropic leaders of her generation. Dr. Priscilla Chan, an up and coming game changer in the fields of medicine and science. Science, technology, engineering. The Harvard educated UCSF School of Medicine grad is a pediatrician who also runs the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, which she and her husband, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, launched in 2015 following the birth of their first daughter, Max. We're going to have a front row seat to the biggest medical breakthrough in a generation. The initiative's most recent program, called Rare as One, focuses on driving progress in the fight against rare diseases. Grants will be awarded to 10 organizations with four and a half million dollars in initial funding. People ask us, are you going after one disease at a time? No. It's really about making every scientist, everyone who participates in the scientific process, better. Were there experiences that you had that led you to do the work that you're doing right now? When I was a young physician, I would open up a patient's chart and like read something about it. And I, at first I was embarrassed. I would walk into a room and say, I don't know anything about your disease. Can you tell me, how do you take care of yourself? And these patients and families would teach me, train me on what it was like what the disease was and how to best take care of themselves and what worked for them. And Rare is One is about bringing in that patient voice because they have the insights. I can still remember exact patient rooms where the research didn't materialize in time or we didn't find the right treatment and um, exact families. And um, I think those experiences, what makes me realize that we have to do more. The daughter of Chinese Vietnamese refugees, Chan, who was the first in her family to go to college, says she always knew her life would involve service to others. A lot of people open doors for me, and if I didn't work hard and try to continue getting trained to actually open doors for others, that I wasn't doing my part. She and Zuckerberg, who married in 2012, are passing on those same lessons to daughters Max and August. How do you instill in your children who are growing up in an environment that was, that was different? We talk about it. Do you? Yeah, they're three and two, and we talk about how lucky we are, how lucky we are to have each other, to be happy and healthy. And they're also kids. They don't, you know, my three-year-old, one day she tells me, Mom, I know about Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm like, what do you know about Honey Nut Cheerios? And she's like, I've heard about them, and I want a box for my birthday. <laughs> I mean, you can't get more than I, I was, mean, come on. There is also the challenge of navigating philanthropy under the spotlight, with controversy surrounding Facebook's handling of user data. Do you have discussions about that, you know, people's concern about privacy and other issues? Is there something that you and your husband that you think you can do to help alleviate those concerns? Data privacy is a top concern and should be for everyone, especially in medicine. What we've really grappled with is what have we learned from Mark's experiences at running Facebook to make sure that we are um, being incredibly proactive about this. How did you get into this field? What was it about medicine? I mean, because it's so apparent, the emotion that you have, the passion that you have. Where did that come from? There's so many times where I feel like um, this could be me. I don't have um, a rare disease that I know of, but I've gotten really lucky, and I've had a lot of people champion for me, and um, I don't take that for granted. She really doesn't, and it's worth noting that the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative is one of the most well-funded philanthropic organizations in the world. The couple has committed 99% of their Facebook shares to this mission, which also includes improving education and reforming the criminal justice system. We keep talking about rare disease, rare disease. About 25 to 30 million Americans suffer from a rare disease. And, and, and Jimmy Carter has paved the way in taking on these has. orphan diseases, almost eliminating some overseas. If they can do that here, it would be incredible. And that is their goal.
Oh, but beyond that, if, if, they, if they can keep their kids thinking that Honey Nut Cheerios are the <laughs> ideal <laughs> birthday <laughs> gift, they're doing a good job. <laughs> good point there. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.